What's going on, Brandon? We can't keep doing this. What was that? Can't keep doing this. I'm generally more positive on these movies, but this one just absolutely broke me. How is Netflix putting out absolute garbage every single week? I know, it's okay. It's not okay. Thunder Force is such an uninspired mess. It wants to be a superhero parody, which I'd say we need since Hollywood is, like, just superhero movies now. But that doesn't stop things like The Boys, and Deadpool, and Kick-Ass, and Megamind, and Hancock, and My Super Ex-Girlfriend, and Mystery Man, and my god, we've been doing this forever, haven't we? Yeah, superhero parody's been old news for at least 20 years. But here's the thing, it isn't even a parody. I was all set for it to be about the fact that both of these heroes are 50-year-old women, and I thought that would be at least an interesting take. But that doesn't even touch on that. It's just a shitty, by-the-book superhero movie. Why is it taking itself seriously? Yeah, come to think of it, I was wondering why this comes off as so bland, and I'm realizing it's because it doesn't lampoon any of the hallmarks or pitfalls of the superhero genre. It just copies them with less imagination. Looking back to movies like Mystery Men or even something like Spy Kids, those at least had color and inventive production design. Thunder Force somehow like washes out the muddy grays of MCU cinematography and then embellishes that with like a normal sports car and like a taser. Why would you make a superhero movie if the three villains you can come up with are Crab Man, person who shoots energy beams named Laser, and someone with red eyes who hugs people to death? I, I promise those are even more boring than I just made them sound. Like, I understand they don't have the budget for these things, but they could at least make it more interesting than a CW show from 10 years ago. And when they do try to, like, have fun visually, it just comes across as a second-rate SNL sketch. Speaking of having fun, I need to say something important here. Hey, Melissa, think you're great, you can be phenomenally funny, but there's a subset of your work that is just absolute garbage. Let's take a sampling of five movies and the look at their Rotten Tomato scores. Get yeah. Tammy, 24. The Boss, 21. Life of the Party, 38. Super Intelligence, 31. Thunder Force, back to 24. Not the greatest track record here. What do they all have in common? I'm sure you're putting it together by now. And they're all directed by your husband. Oh, I loved him in Bridesmaids. They're so fun together. He can be very funny on screen, but behind the camera or on the page, is terminally unfunny. And can't direct a competent scene. Listen, I assume these movies are fun to make because they're just an excuse for friends to hang out and riff with each other, and honestly, I'm glad for you. May we all get paid to do stupid bullshit with our friends. Amen. But we shouldn't need to see the results. And I wish it wasn't siphoning off your talent to an ever-growing collection of movies directed by someone who can't tell you no or provide any sort of structure to refine your comedy. 